Aloha everybody, welcome to Stitch's tutorial video for Calculus 2. First we'll be looking at this problem, the series of negative 1 to the power of n minus 1 times n over the square root of n squared minus n. So first we'll be trying to find out if this series converges absolutely or converges conditionally or diverges. So first, we want to consider if it converges absolutely. So we consider, consider the series in absolute form. Negative one, n minus one. So now, since it's absolute form, we cancel this out. Cancel out the negative, and so we're left with the series. Square root of n squared minus one. So now, we can look at a comparison test. So the first requirement for a comparison test is it must be a positive. And so since we did the absolute value, then this would be n over square root n squared minus one. This would be positive for all our values since it was absolute valued. So now we can complete the comparison test. So we want to first use n over it's our original. And so first thing we want to do is look at the dominant n terms. And so we can get rid of the negative one. And squared. And so looking at this, since the denominator is no longer being subtracted, and usually when the denominator is less, then the number would be bigger. So this one would be bigger. Or greater. And so Stitch says we can simplify this more. n over n, because the square root and the square equals 1. So now this can be our b sub n. And this can be your a sub n. <coughs> so now for the comparison test, we find the limit of b n, b sub n. So the limit approaches infinity of b sub n equals limit of one, since b n is one, our limit will just be one, which does not equal zero by the divergence test. So by divergence test, divergence test, b n diverges. So now since, so Stitch will tell you a rule so since series of a n is greater than the series of b n and the series of b n diverges, series of a n diverges as well. And so I just like to think of this as an infinite floor. Helps think about it. So, we can say that the original series square root of n squared minus 1 
does not converge absolutely. So now since we have that out of the road, Stitch would like to go to check if it converges conditionally. So now, we're going to check if it converges conditionally, and since you look at this, the original, negative 1, n minus 1, n over square root of n squared minus, sorry, stitch messed up, should be minus 1, not minus n. So that is our original. And so looking at this, it's an alternating series test. So now we can do the alternating series test. So we can do alternating series test. And then our BN, since it's whatever is not being alternating, would just be N or the square root of N squared minus one. So, Stitch says there are three requirements to the alternating series test. There are three requirements. The first requirement is it must be positive. And looking at this, there's no negative signs, so we say n is is positive for all the numbers we're looking at, which is n is greater than 2. So now, our second requirement must be, must be decreasing. And Stitch heads this one. This one might be the longest one ever. So we're going to check it with finding the derivative. But our f the derivative of fn must be less than zero for sufficiently large n. So our f, so Stitch likes to make it easier and say so our f of n equals fx. Help Stitch C. So also remembering our other quotient formula. is that minus all over squared. So now we can find the derivative. So f of x equals 1 times the denominator and the 1 came from the derivative of the numerator, numerator. so now we find just a regular denominator minus 1 all minus the derivative of the denominator remember chain rule x squared minus 1 squared power of nine and a half chain rule 2x times our fx our numerator all over our denominator squared So, we're going to simplify it even more. Equals root over x squared minus 1 
minus x squared because we can say that this, uh, this cancels this out and then so we have this x and multiply by each other and then we can also say 1 over the square root or x squared minus 1 all over and so the square root and the square cancels each other out to equal x squared minus 1 and so Stitch does not want this at the top so he must simplify even further by multiplying the top and the bottom by x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1 So now we get we have f is equals let's see this one this will be x squared minus one minus x squared over multiply this one x squared minus one or the square root of x squared minus 1. And then we can simplify even further and say that these two x's cancel out. And we say that the 1 over x squared minus 1 over x square root squared minus 1. And so as you can see, there's a negative sign right there. So, we can say since f of x equals f n, we can say that f of n is less than 0 for all the numbers we're looking at, which is n greater than 2. So yes, it decreases, and we said over here, yes, it was positive. Now, the very last requirement is to... All right, sorry about that. Stitch had a bit of technical difficulties. Uh, Stitch had electronics. So the class requirement that must be met for the alternating series test is uh, the limit of B sub n must equal zero. And then so what we do is we do the limit of, let's say, it was square root of n square root of minus 1. And so when we're looking at limits, we can say that um, we can ignore the negative 1 and look at the dominant n terms, which would be n squared, and this is n. The squared and the square root would cancel, making this just equal 1. And R1 does not go 0, so we say by divergence test. Test. B then diverges. So we can say that by the alternate series test, um, we'll say by alternate series test, um, we can say that our original negative 1 and minus 1 n over n squared minus 1 diverges. And so now, since it neither, let's say, since our original function In our original series, sorry. One and minus one over n square root of n square minus one does not converge absolute absolutely 
or conditional. We can say that it diverges. Thank you for coming to Stitches tutorial video. And my last tip is, Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind.